So for us, they were, uh, I mean, great, great parents. We, there was a lot of focus on what they did around work. I mean, we, we live at the factory. Um, so that was a very important part of their life in terms of what they were doing, what they, um, and quite often, um, you know, holidays had, had some kind of element of work built into them. The factory was just an extension of home. Um, so we, we, we got very much into engineering at a very young age, um, sort of how, how machines worked, how uh, the different processes uh, took place. Um, so yeah, it became like very much part of our childhood, the, the factory and, and the family, um, all, all in one, all, all together. I don't think we realised at the time when we were little, she was sort of a founder of the St Agnes uh, group. Uh, with with some friends of hers, um, and was really really into it. They they had great fun. It was a you know it was a fundraising activity, and they did it for a good cause. But it was very much a, a social and fun uh, part of their lives. Um, you know, we I think we'll both remember Mum dressed up as a sunflower or a miner or a you know there's there's lots of carnival pictures of of, of Mum. Um, dressed up in interesting outfits, um, but it was it was about enjoyed, they enjoyed it and they they you know spent a lot of time doing it. But they they passionately believed in it as a good cause and and enjoyed raising money. They both ended up with with cancer, um, and I think Mum had I don't know I, I don't know about you, but I remember I saw her last times with Mum, and, and it was almost like she she really hoped she would get there for however small a time it was. But, but certainly, Dad, um, when he went, when he had like three or four weeks there, and absolutely um, felt it was a fantastic, um, the care he received and the uh, time he spent there, he he, he felt very um, honoured to be able to to be looked after by them. Yeah, I remember Dad saying it was like it was like staying in a hotel. The meals were the meals were excellent. Everyone was really really friendly and really kind and. Um, yeah, I don't, he, he couldn't have asked for anything more. They gave us great reassurance, well, certainly me, uh, us great reassurance for that you didn't need to worry about anything, you know, whatever was required was being done. Um, and, and you uh, sort of dealt with in a very caring and, and uh, compassionate way where, you know, we were always involved and there was very, you know, it was very... Um, they were very keen to, to make sure decisions were, were involving us and, and, and kept us informed and all of those sorts of things, which was, which was brilliant. I mean, not, not a great surprise, to be honest, because no. <laughs> of their, their history. I think it was an assumption. <laughs> yeah, an assumption. Um, I think we thought it was, it was absolutely the right thing to do um, and, and a great way of... Um, them providing, you know, providing that extra help that they they wanted to. You know, it was a very it was very appropriate. Uh, it was something they were passionate about, and, and they knew that it was going to go to a a cause that that they they felt was very important. Yeah, definitely, a, a will's a will is a very important thing to have. Um, everyone everyone should have a will, and. Yeah, if there's, a, if there's a charity that you've supported throughout your life, it's a, it's a good idea to kind of put something in that will uh, to support one of those charities to, to help them once you've gone. Yeah, so I, I plan to leave a gift to Cornwall Hospice Care in my, my will, or I, I have done. Um, really, for me, it's a nice way of reflecting on what uh, the Cornwall Hospice Care did for my father. You know, we saw it firsthand, it was really fantastic. Um, in, in a difficult time, um, and, and the support they gave us was great. And um, yeah, I just think it's a really good course. It's something that I need to put on the top of my to-do list to review my will. And sort of following the experiences that, that I've had with uh, with mum, dad, and the hospice, um, sort of leaving a gift, a legacy, is something I'm definitely going to uh, seriously think about.